Hi and welcome, this is Jenna from Aguirre. I have another product release close-up video for you today, and this focuses on the newest holiday collection from Lawn Fawn. This is an excellent release with a lot of products, so I'm hoping that this video helps you decide if any of the products belong in your home and kind of help you sort through it all because there are so many products. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the stamps first. I'm going to start with the sentiment stamp set because I feel like those really go uh, the extra mile during the holiday seasons. This is Merry Messages. I really like that Lawn Fawn has a very distinct look to their greetings and they're fun and playful. I really like the script in these also and I like that there are some unique messages here, not only your typical holiday greetings. One of my top five products in this release is this Tiny Tag Sains. This is a great set, it's small, so it's got a great pri price point. The images work for holiday tags or just little uh, sentiments on cards, or they work all year round also. I like the small size too because it's great for stamping on envelopes. Now they did release the Tiny Tags Dies set, and these go together very nicely. I like that you can stamp maybe for you on the front of the die cut, and then on the back of the tag you can stamp the to and from. And there are a few different to and from options here. These would be great for making a bunch of tags for the holiday seasons to put on presents. I'll be keeping this stamp set out all year round because I think it's perfect for stamping on envelopes. Next is the Frosty, Frosty Fairy Friends. This is going to be super popular since their regular fairy stamp set was really popular earlier this year. This is a really th well thought out stamp set. You've got the little bits of snow that you can put on top of the house. You even have little Christmas lights that you can add to the house so you can build a really adorable scene with this. I think it would be fun to stamp the little fairy's wings on vellum so that they have vellum wings with maybe a few layers of vellum and maybe some glitter. And there are so many fun messages you can put together, such as we wish you a fairy happy holiday, different things that you can put together with this. This will be one that I think you'll see a lot of great samples with. And as usual with Lawn Fawn, there are coordinating dies available. Next we have the Sprinkled with Joy stamp set. This is a fun, another fun one. There are coordinating dies available for it, and there's a die set that allows you to uh, create that oven like a door on that oven so it opens up and you can have something inside the door it opens up like a flap so you can see the two different stamp sets there so you can put like maybe an acetate window on there and when you open up the card you can see the cookies inside or you can use this die that creates a flap so that the door of the oven folds down and you can have a greeting in there I really like that Lawn Fawn really thinks this through and has all the elements that you need to make the perfect little scene on a card if you make homemade treats during the holidays, you could even make a tag out of the little oven and have the door open to put the greeting on the inside. This brings us to Snow Cool, which is another sweet stamp set that they have in this release. I like that they included the snowfall at the top of the stamp set, so you can really build a nice scene with this. The igloo is absolutely adorable, and they even have a snow penguin. So it's a snowman penguin there. You can put a little hat on him and the bow tie, and even put like an ice cream cone in the penguin's hand, and a lot of fun sentiments with this also. I think that Snowfall would be really pretty white heat embossed on a piece of vellum and then have the little penguins below it. Here we have Plan On It Holidays. So Lawn Fawn has some Plan On It stamp sets that are perfect for planners. This is the holiday version. Everything's really well thought out again with perfect spacing for planners. Now I think this would be fun to team up with that Tiny Tag Sane stamp set I showed you earlier and stamp the little images on the tiny tags themselves. So you can do little tags for any holiday using the little holiday icons in this Plan It On It Holiday stamp set. So you can team these all together really well that's one of the greatest things about lawn fawn stamps now this is stamp set called cheery christmas is packed with lots of great things that you could use for holiday or non-holiday so there is this adorable reindeer with the antler you can put the lights the string of lights in his antler or you can have the string of lights in between the little squirrels here or you can put the string of lights on the tree there's a little bird that can hang ornaments on the ladder on the tree lots of things you can put together but what I'm really looking forward to with this is taking that little branch or that tree there and making kind of like a contemporary card. Turn that into kind of like a pine branch and put some berries on there with that little ornament. So you can really change this up to be many different things. And by the way, the coordinating dies do not come with the stamps. You have to buy them separate. I just store them together. 
Okay, now we have the Winter Big Scripty Words. These are great because they really fill the card nicely. And they include the little strings or the little doodads on the bottom so you can extend the word to make it longer. And then you can hang those little lights on it so it looks like a string of lights. Now, what's really awesome about this set is there is a coordinating die set for it. So you can cut out these script words. So I think would be great is if you do photo cards like me for the holidays, you can do a large photo, then stamp and die cut, maybe be jolly, and then put some little lights on it and decorate those little lights with maybe some red stickles and put that right over your photo. So kind of laying across the bottom of the photo. It's a fun way to make a photo card a little more interesting, a little more handmade. Okay, so two super small stamp sets from Lawn Fun this time. The first one is Home for the Holidays. You can put the tree on top of the car, the presents on top of the car. You can do other things with that car also. Then the Winter Unicorn. This is adorable for just a sweet little card during the, during the holiday season. And there are coordinating dies available for these tiny little sets. As far as fall theme stamps, we have Jump for Joy. This one has been popular already. You can do the little pile of leaves and even put little smiley faces on all the little leaves. You can have the animals jumping into the pile, maybe using one of the slider dies from Lawn Fawn, so the little animals slide into the pile of leaves. Or you can even put little action wobblers on them so they kind of jump into the leaves. A lot of different things you can build up here, but the sentiments are wonderful. I really like that So Thankful. And then there's other things you can build up with it. So it could be like So Thankful for Your Kindness. So you could use those throughout the year. Another one of my top picks from this release is Thanks a Bushel. This is one of those classic stamp sets that you can use over and over. Now you can stamp the apples and basket and just color them and kind of keep them a little bit more classy or uh, traditional. Or you can add those little smiley faces, even the ones with glasses, and make it more playful. Now the greetings are perfect, especially for a teacher card. You can do Thanks a Bushel for being a great teacher. I love making teacher cards. Or you can use them for a thank you card for anyone. So this is one of those stamp sets that I think I'm going to keep around for a long time. It's smaller, so it's a great price point, And there are coordinating dies. Another tiny stamp set from this release is, hey, is uh, Cutie Pie. And this one you can put the little faces on the pie also. And there you can see the coordinating dies that go with these. Next is Happy Halloween. Now this one is really fun and my daughter's excited about this one because you can de decorate or dress up all these little dogs in different costumes. So you can turn one of the dogs into a mummy. You can put a tutu on one or a cape or little wings. This is just a fun one to have for the Halloween season. I don't make many Halloween cards unless they're fun and great for kids and this one fits the bill. Okay, so now it's time to move on to some of the dies in this release, and Lawn Fawn really does well thought out dies. First, we have the leafy tree background landscape. So this fits on the front of a four and a half, or I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. It cuts this frame with the tree. Then you've got the piece that like goes around the tree for the top of the tree and the little leaves that you can add, or you can use this to be kind of a hill in the bottom. This would be great for a shaker card window with the leaves shaking around, or you can put like a vellum backdrop and have snow coming down instead. Now, if you prefer a tall card, you could instead get the portrait one. So it's the same kind of idea, but one is landscape and one is portrait. So both of those are available. Next, we have the stitched tree borders. These are really unique because they cut these adorable little trees and the, the hills along with it. And then there are these two stitch kind of circles that you can cut separately and create like the background for those trees. So this one you could use for maybe fall or you could leave that part off and do a snowy scene with just the tree branches alone. These would be even fun to create a pocket on the front of a card to add some photos for a holiday. Okay, now another top pick from this release is the small stitched envelope. There is so much packed into this one die set. So first of all, there are some greetings. They're very dainty, which I really like, very fine, and cut beautifully. So there's thanks, there's just a note, which is one that I don't have many of, so I'm excited about that. And by the way, I didn't pop some of the insides of the letters out, and there are little dots for the J's and the I's. Um, and then here is enjoy. Now these I'm going to store separately because I really like these and I like to store them with my word dies. Now also in here are little hearts that are great. So I plan to put that on my magnet paper in my cupboard because I want to reach for these little hearts often. 
And then there is this envelope die. This is a beautiful envelope die. It very, it's very easy to put together. You just fold in the score lines and it has that faux stitching detail on it to give it a nice finish. You just glue it closed. I'm just holding it closed here. It also cuts this label too, which is perfect on it. And you can add the little sentiment die cuts in it. Now this little envelope, you could put a gift card in so that I'm a big fan of gift cards for teachers. So I'll be using this for a little gift card holder, or you can put a little note in it, like say this label you use as a note that goes in inside instead. So this one's really easy to put together. It has that faux de stitching detail, which is wonderful. And it's packed full of those adorable heart dies and sentiments. Now this little one creates all kinds of little um, sea creatures. You can do a little a sea otter, you can do a whale. Many examples of this on the Lawn Fawn website, so I encourage you to check it out. I think it'd be fun to cut those from felt. Now here we have String of Lights. This is a great die set. Now it cuts that nice string and then a bunch of different lights in the little pieces for the lights. So you can see there are different sizes, which I think is fantastic. So you can change the size of the light bulbs depending on what you need on your card. This again would be fun to put on, a, on top of a photo for a holiday photo card. This would be fun to die cut out of felt or even die cut the lights out of some glitter paper. You could even make a fun shaker card with that. Okay, now Lawn Fun has great stackable sets. This is the large and small dotted rectangle stackable sets together in one envelope. So there's the large stackable set and the small. They're sold separately, but I have them stored together in an envelope. Here is the square set. This one goes to four and a half by four and a half, which is a nice size for a square card. And here we have the circles. The biggest one is four inches in diameter. Now this does do the little dots around the inside of the cutting edge. You can see that on this example here. It's a nice finishing touch and a little more interesting than a plain die cut. So there are small and large in all the square, rectangle, and circles. Now Lawn Fawn is the master of creating little gift bags and such out of dies. And this is another great one, very unique I think. This is the scalloped treat box. So all you have to do is take that die, which does fit into a die cut machine nicely, and you want to cut it twice from two pieces of cardstock. So you're cutting two of the same, and you're just going to fold across the score lines. It's very easy to follow. You're going to do that with both pieces. Then you'll put adhesive on the little flaps. They're easy to see from the die cut also and along the bottom inside of one of the die cuts. You're gonna place the other die cut right up against that, so that's the bottom of our little treat box. Make sure you have adhesive on all the little flaps and you fold everything up, and before you know it, it reminds me of those old McDonald's Happy Meal boxes that we had when I was a kid. I don't know if they still have them or not, but it kind of folds up like that with this cute little scalp across the top. It's perfect for a little, um, a little treat inside, maybe a piece of jewelry. Um, what I would like to put inside is a little return address stamp, a personalized one for a friend or a little wood mounted stamp for a friend. This is a fun one. So check this out. The results are absolutely adorable. You can add little die cuts to the outside or stamp on it before you assemble it, wrap a ribbon around it if you want to. I think Lawn Fun does a great job kind of engineering these dies, and this one's great. Now, speaking of well-engineered dies, this is the Stitched Hillside Pop-Up. Now, pop-up cards are very popular right now, and this does everything for you. All you do is die cut it from cardstock, score along the score lines, and add a little bit of adhesive here and there, and you have a great pop-up. Okay, so let me show you how this goes. You put adhesive on this large flap, and then on the two little flaps that are folded scored. Now Lawn Fawn's got some great examples on their website using this hillside um, pop-up. I plan to do a video very soon, but I wanted to show you quickly how it looks, just using some scrap paper here. You first adhere the bottom to the inside scored edge of your note card, then lay all the pieces flat, close your card, and the adhesive will stick to the inside of your card. Now when you open it up, check that out. You have like a hillside that pops up, and you can tape little critters onto that. So when people open up the card, they have a fun surprise inside. Now this hillside border pop-up die, you can use all year round for any kind of seasonal card. Okay, now we have the everyday pop-ups, and this is to create a pop-up at any card that you want. So I'm gonna make a mini card here, and I'll be using one of these pop-up dies. Now I'm going to create my score line where I'll fold my card, but I don't wanna score all through it. I just wanna score up to the die, just around the die. 
So what I'm going to do is put my score line, but stop. You'll see I stop close to the center and then stop on the other side. And then I'm going to line my die up. Those little tick marks on the die, I'm going to line up with that score line. So I'm going to tape that down and run that through my die cut machine. This seems a little odd, but you'll see in a moment. You can see the score lines line up with that tick mark. So the score line isn't underneath the die, just next to it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and complete my score line all the way up to those cut lines. So I'm going to do it on both sides. And now we can fold and watch this. That center will pop up. So when you open up your card, you'll have this little stair step that pops up. And you can tape like a little critter on that so it pops up when you open it. And all you have to do is tape something to the outside of the card to cover up that stair step from the outside. So you can glue something on either side of that stair step there. I'm going to take a little red note card and glue that around this so that you don't see this from the outside. So it's a fun surprise when you open up the card. Now in this Lawn Fawn Everyday Pop-Ups, you can see there are many different size stair steps and some kind of step up higher than others, make them pop out a different amount. So you can create a fun little scene in a card very easily. And I like that they have the tick marks, so it makes it really easy to figure out where to put your score line. I'll be sure to use this in a video soon to better demonstrate it, but be sure to check out Lawn Fawn's website. They have a lot of ideas using them. Here's the little town border. I think this would be fun to just die cut from white along the bottom of a card and then do a night sky with um, some distress inks and maybe some perfect pearls. Next is the put a bow on it die set. Now this is fun because there are three different size bows you can put together with these. There are a few ways you can put these bows together. This is how I do it. I just put adhesive on that little flap in the middle, fold the two ends in, wrap that around, and then you have this little bow ends that you can have come out the side, or you can cut them and have them come out the bottom of the bow. These are fun to create from felt to put on little gift boxes. And I like that they include three different bow sizes together. So I created the largest and there's a medium and a small also. Now there are some fun word dies in this release. This is the Fa La La Border. And this one stretches along a card nicely. Lawn Fawn has a lot of these in different sentiments and they've been very popular. So this one will be a fun one for the holiday season. They also released more of their scripty words, and there are four different words in this release. They're sweet, wishes, bee, and merry. Now I store bee and merry together in the same pocket because I feel they fit together nicely. And I've really been a big fan of these scripty words from Lawn Fawn because I think the script is really fun and they're bold. So they really stand out on top of maybe a bunch of stamped images on a background. And I really like that. I like to have bold sentiment die cuts and some dainty ones like the ones I showed you earlier. There are also two ink colors in this release. We have um, the Storm Cloud and the Narwhal. Now the, the Narwhal is the first one I'm doing here. It's a gray that kind of has a brown tone to it. And Storm Cloud is more of a true gray, almost black, but not quite. And I'm, I think I'll be reaching them for that Storm Cloud a lot. I think it's a beautiful dark gray color. And they do have re-inkers available for these. There are also papers in this release. There are three six by six pads and they each have 36 sheets in it. And there are 12 by 12 in these same patterns, 12 by 12 paper pads available. I really like the six by six for card making. You can see there are beautiful patterns in all of these pads. And I really like the diagonal pads the most. I think those are always really fun. I really like the color selections that Lawn Fawn does. They really are great at pulling good colors together and they're colors that really fit or feel like they go with their stamped images. So it's great for backgrounds along with a lot of the stamps that I showed you today. So there you have a really fast look at the newest release from Lawn Fawn. There are a lot of great products in this. Be sure to go to my blog. I will have a giveaway of some of these products and I will uh, be sure to link to a lot of the fun examples over on the Lawn Fawn site. I link below in my YouTube description to multiple sources for these products, or you can go over to my blog for more information and that giveaway. And in the middle, I have a previous Lawn Fawn release that might be of interest to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll come back soon and have a wonderful day.